Good morning, gang. Happy Tuesday. How are you guys feeling today? Got a fun little uh, burpee combo happening today. Sorry, no tunes today, guys. I showed up and there was a new computer and I can't seem to figure out how to get into it. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe I'll sing to you, but not really. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. We don't need tunes. Just need a good workout and I don't know if you can hear the birds singing. I can't see the buffalo right now. They're probably napping somewhere, but so far it's a beautiful morning here. How are you guys feeling and doing? Hey Carson, hey Kim. Birdie, what's going on? Hey Rick, welcome back. Koi, Batman Koi. <laughs> George here nice and early. Carson B. Does anyone know a good alternative to go wad? Hmm, or rum wad, that's a great question. I'm trying to think what everyone's using these days. I feel like that's what everyone is using. I'll have to ask. Teja was doing some yoga from an app the other day, so. Willie, good morning. Koi, I saw, so no damage for you guys from the, uh, the storm. I saw there were barrels in Cocoa Beach. Like, I mean, as we well know, that's, that's rare. I looked at those pictures, I was like, oh my gosh, the waves look amazing. Carlos, hello in Portugal. Chris, good morning. Ellis, good morning. I'm good, guys, I'm feeling good today. Garrick, good morning. Travis, good morning in other parts of Tennessee. Up nice and early then. Has anyone scouted this workout yet? Where's Philip? Or is anyone doing it along with this morning? Alexandru, hey. Lionel, hi in France. A bit, you're two minutes late, Alexandru. For me, that's borderline early. <laughs> All right, gang, let's go over or start going over this warm-up. I do need the remote control today, so if you, if you see it in the, uh, somewhere, just let me know. It should be nearby. Lately, it's been nearby, so. Philip, oh, you are here, Philip. Okay, ooh, I did get the password to the music, too. All right, guys, one second. Let me turn on these tunes, and we'll go through this warm-up. Mexico. All right, gang. So for the warm up today, we are going to have a six minute clock. We're going to have 40 high knees, 20 scap only push ups. So it's like initiating a push up, but not bending your arms. And 30 second active bottom of the squat hold. So we're really going to try to push those knees out and really grip on the floor there. Stay tight, not hunch over, but we'll, uh, we'll go through that and start our six minute clock. Alright guys, let's start that six minute clock now. 
And we're going to start with that 40 high knees and then go into those scat push-ups and that squat hold. And we're going to start in 10 seconds. Hey, Alice. Gilligan looks like he's doing much better today. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. All right, guys, start with those 40 high knees. Woo! I said sometimes I start with kind of kind of medium knees to start out the morning. It's another beautiful morning here today. So I don't know if that storm is making it cooler or, or what. I didn't get hyena hair yesterday, so that's an indicator that the uh, it's not that humid here today. Oh guys, I totally forgot to count. I'm gonna say I'm on like, let's go 28. And 40. So those 20 scap only push-ups. So basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be squeezing these scaps. So pretend like someone's putting something between your shoulder blades, fork, a pencil, whatever it is. So you're gonna be in the plank position in a, in a push-up and like you're going down to do the push-up, but you're not bending your arms. So I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder blades. So 20 scap only push-ups. So I'm gonna come down to this plank position and like I'm initiating a push-up, you can't really see much from here, that's why I tried to show you up there. Just pretend like you're squeezing something between those shoulder blades. So 20 of those. And then we're gonna have, oh, this is the best. Oh boy, back in the day did I spend a lot of time in this squat position. So, we're gonna try to get in the bottom of that squat. You can sit against a wall if you need to. I'm gonna try to push those knees out, keep my chest nice and tall, try not to round over, or let those knees go down. I really wanna push those knees out. I don't have the best bottom of squat position, so this is a great thing to be working on. And I'm gonna try to keep that chest tall. Like I said, if it's easier, if you don't have the mobility, you can lean against a wall to help. Oof. This feels good in the morning. By good, I mean, need to keep doing it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Ten more seconds here. It didn't look when we started, but we're going to speculate. All right, and back to those. 40 high knees. Any questions so far? Ooh, awesome, Kim. How's it been going so far? All right, guys. 40 high knees. Maybe try to get those knees a little higher this time. And 40. Okay, gang, back to the step only push up to just remember squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Like I said, you can't see much from the plank position. It just looks like I'm going like this. But really, really engage those scaps. You want to get those front and the backs of those shoulders nice and open. So we'll have 20 of those. Back to my favorite, that good old bottom of the squat position. Way back when, after the first year being here, after the first CrossFit Games, I got back in. I was trying to work on my squat position. So, Rosh would have me hold the bottom of a squat to five to ten minutes each night against a wall to try to work on that position. And even accumulating the first five minutes was was so much. So. This is great for mobility, but also teaching you proper technique. So 
Get down on that squat, try to get below parallel if you can. Push those knees out, try to keep that chest nice and tall. Like I said, try not to, I mean again, I, need, I really need to work on my ankle mobility. But try to drive those hips out, try not to round that back. Keep that chest nice and tall. You can push those knees out if you need to, like me. You can use a wall if you need to. You can kind of floss those ankles and those hips a little bit if you need to. We'll do another 15 seconds here. We'll go into that last set of high knees probably. And then we will get into this awesome workout Tasia has planned for us today. Awesome, okay guys, back to those 40 high knees. Like I said, maybe now a little bit higher this time. And 40. All right guys. Any questions so far? Philip, that's a great idea, but do I need the Spotify app? I have the Spotify app on my phone, I just don't have it on my computer. Oh, technology. That's all right, I mean, I feel like it's good training not to have music. That's why, I mean, we listen to a lot of, uh, Slow music sometimes when we're working out. That way you can train or compete in just about anything. All right, gang. So, oh, I just got the computer password again. Awesome. <laughs> I just need Spotify downloaded. That's okay. Like I said, we can all sing together. <laughs> all right, guys. So, 4The M30 today. We have, for both versions, M30 and M30 Plus, we will be doing 15 down to one reps. So what that means is, so for M30, our movements are gonna be burpees, air squats, and sit-ups. So how this will work will be, you, you will perform 15 burpees, 15 air squats, 15 sit-ups. Then you'll go to 14. You'll go 14 burpees, 14 air squats, 14 sit-ups, down to 13, 13 burpees, 13 air squats, 13 sit-ups, all the way down to one. How we're gonna keep track of that? Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully you're a better counter than I am. All right, gang, so for M30 Plus or version two today, we are gonna have lateral burpee over your dumbbell. You will have a dumbbell goblet squat with either a 50 pound dumbbell, a 35 pound dumbbell, or whatever you happen to have at home. My go-to is always the gallon of water. I don't, I always buy the, uh, the alkaline water. Who knows if it really does anything, but I actually do have a gallon of water around the house or milk, you know, whatever. If you're not lactose intolerant. <laughs> and sit-ups. So again, this version is going to be 15 lateral burpee over the dumbbell, 15 goblet squat, 15 sit-ups, 14, 13, all the way down to one. So gang, let's go over those movements real quick and then we can get this fun one started today. Do you guys have any questions so far? This is going to be a good one. I kind of don't know what to expect with this. I think it's going to be a nice smooth pace. That's my plan. Philip, did you scout this? Did anyone do this yet? Is anyone doing this along with? Gilligan, hi. Yep, Alice Gilligan's doing pretty well. He had a little surgery, but he's healing quickly. All right, guys. So for those burpees, you can do typical burpee. Most commonly found is you jump back to that plank position, touch your chest to the ground, jump back up, jump to the sky, or you can step back, you can drop your knees however you want to drop your body to the ground, you can step back up, do a little hop at the top if you can. For your next movement, that air squat, just kind of like that active squat, we performed in the warm-up. You know, push those hips back, 
Try to get below parallel. If you are able, stand tall. Extend those hips at the top. That will be your air squat. For your sit-up, we have, you can ground your feet if you need to, if you can, if you would like to. With the dumbbell, you can leave your feet free hanging there. Sorry guys, just trying to get this in frame for you. because we don't really do a lot of lateral stuff in CrossFit. Okay guys, and then our second movement there is going to be our goblet squat. So, you can take this dumbbell up or kettlebell. I like to hold it, not that, I hold a lot of goblets or chalices, but this is my preferred way to hold on to that dumbbell. I'm gonna try to keep my chest nice and tall. Same idea, push those hips back, hip below parallel, extend at the top. That's gonna to be my goblet squat. I'm gonna set that dumbbell right back down. Get right over into my sit up. And same idea on the sit up here. I'm gonna to touch my feet, touch my hands behind my head, any of those three versions of the sit up. Do you guys have any questions on that? Aside from how we're going to count. If you hear me talking through what numbers I'm on, it's probably so I don't forget what number I'm on. <laughs> yeah, those goblet squats are going to feel real good. Philip, yep, did. Squats is recovery, steady pace, and then sped up on the sit-ups and burpees. You would speed up on a burpees fill up. <laughs> Good work, guys. But I'm glad that that's one of your strong movements, Philip. I'm very proud of you. Brian, well, I missed it. What was the secret workout today? Sometimes he's... The comments go by so fast you miss them. You can't miss that. Oh, good. There you go. You just started at 16. I like it. Ellis. You guys, it's Tasia's birthday this week. I know. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do. Although her new... Look at this. Of course I wore it today because I was so excited. I don't know if you saw on... Uh, Instagram, the little video we made of the podcast yesterday was so funny. Her with the, uh, her finger guns. It was hilarious. But I got my new Tasia tee. It's tie-dye. It makes me happy because it makes me think of Tasia. Because she's like a sunflower. She's so sweet. She's my favorite. Okay, guys. Yeah, we'll have to think of a good birthday workout for Tasia for sure. <laughs> Ellis, the Leon, I'm going to call it the chalice squat. I like that too. <laughs> oh, nice, Bryant. Start at 16. Got it. I'll have to add maybe 16 at the end today so I can get in on that secret workout. <laughs> All right, guys. Any more questions before we get this started? So, again, 
One more time for M30. We are gonna have 15 down to one. Burpees, air squats, and sit-ups. And again, that's gonna be 15 reps of burpees, 15 air squats, 15 sit-ups. The next round's gonna be 14, 14, 14, 13, 13, 13, all the way down to one. For M30 plus, we're gonna have lateral burpee over your dumbbell. Uh, dumbbell goblet squat or chalice squat, however you feel like holding that dumbbell. <laughs> and sit-ups. So if we don't have any more questions, we're gonna get this uh, Tuesday party started. What is this, Taco Tuesday, gang? Oh, the, Willie, the Tasia video was so funny. We were laughing so hard. The first couple versions, she was laughing so hard. I don't know if air even came out, let alone words. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, grab this clock. Get this started. If I yell out, please tell me what round I'm in. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep track as best I can here. You know, if you have to get your hair up in, in the perfect bun, just let me know. <laughs> All right, gang. Let's get it started. All right, guys, ready, set, go. Here we go. <laughs> Feel free to sing along, guys. 10 seconds. Oops, I didn't start my watch. And go. Starting with that 15, guys. And 15. And of those 15 squats. Fifteen. Now my fifteen sit ups. And 15. Back to those burpees, guys. 14 burpees.
squats first. Just kidding. Huh. 14 goblet squats. You can't wait to get from your burpees to your sit-ups. Huh. 14 sit-ups, guys. Back to those 13 burpees, guys. Thirteen. Thirteen goblet squats. And 13. Try to keep that nice steady pace if you can, guys. 13 sit-ups. And 13. Back to 12 burpees, gang. And 12, 12 squats. And 12. 12 sit-ups. 
Nice job, guys. And 12. Back to 11 burpees, gang. Eleven. Eleven goblet squats. Eleven. Eleven sit-ups. And 11. Back to 10 burpees, guys. We begin with single digit, digits. Remember, fast transitions. 10 burpees. And 10, 10 goblet squats. Ten sit ups. Ten. Back to nine burpees, guys. Tasia and Dave in the house. Yeah. 
Nine sit-ups. I couldn't get the spot if I go, but you guys are more than welcome. And nine. Back to our eight burpees, guys. And eight, eight goblet squats. And eight, eight sit-ups. Back to seven burpees. And seven. Seven squats, guys. And seven. Seven sit-ups.
nicely programmed, Tasia. That took me, I definitely underestimated the time that we had that workout. That was awesome. No, it was great. Once you get through those first big rounds, it goes by quick. It was awesome. I really like the burpee into the squat. That was a nice challenge. What'd you guys think of that? You guys talk about recipes while I'm burpeeing. I gotta go back and read this. I'm all about the recipes. <laughs> Good work, guys. Let's see what we have here. How was it, guys? Carson B always work out without music. Yeah, it was good. That's what I should have done, Philip. But thank you guys for letting me just talk it out with you each number. That's how I kept track. Then I wasn't sure on number four if I did three burpees or four burpees, so I did an extra one just in case. Miguel from Sesame Street. <laughs> That's awesome, Ben. Nice, Kim, yeah. Usually people do like one or two singles before getting into those. Yep, Koi, you can always hear Tasia coming up the gravel. Tasia birthday week. Yeah, we always know the master programmer's coming. Ooh, cooking crazy, you have a chicken recipe for us today, yes. Yes, I did, Ellis. I restarted after the warm up. Carson B. Ooh, birthday workout from Ta for Tasia should be 30 to 1. Tasia, Kim suggests that your birthday workout be a 30 to 1 rep scheme. <laughs> She's the <just> best. <laughs> Let's see. Cooking crazy. Let's hear this recipe casserole dish with lid. Cut up one each into strips about one inch long. Red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, red onion. Add sliced mushrooms. Add sliced veggies like corn or carrots. Add chicken breast, olive oil, Southwest Chipotle seasoning, lemon juice and garlic. Bake 350 for one hour. Eat on soft shells. Cooking crazy, that sounds fantastic. We will have to try that. <laughs> ben, do you deliver? <laughs> Seriously, Kim, I agree. I'm making this too. Cooking crazy. Thanks for that. Thanks, Carson B. Ooh, avocado on top, Koi. I'm liking it. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Philip. Thanks, Koi. You guys are awesome. Birdie, that was a good one. Did you do it? Aw, oh, thanks, Ellis. Thanks, Raul. You too. Tasia, Willie said he ordered one of your shirts. And that he used your word. He said they're wicked cool. Ah, thank you. That's totally Tasia's word. Awesome job, Birdie. Hey, Hat, what's happening? Roll, yeah. Keeps me nice and warm. <laughs> Ooh, Burby Box get overs today. I forgot. I'm not in the right outfit for that. It's all right. We clean the barn ourselves sometimes. Like, you know, when our bodies hit the floor, we're, we're cleaning it up. <laughs> Is there any consideration of uploading workouts as a short demo videos on Sundays or day before? You mean, what do you mean, Carson? Like you want to see like the, like some of them, like the movement demos of them, like how it, the flow of it works? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Birdie me too. <laughs> we love tourist days. Cooking crazy, although, I mean, I feel like we're going to start putting a little pressure on you to keep bringing us these awesome recipes if you keep giving us these great ones. Oh my gosh, we should. We somehow have to get rich in the tie-dye shirt. <laughs> he was not putting that on. <laughs> he wears black and really, really, really dark gray. <laughs> Nice, Birdie, that's awesome. Should have given me a little challenge before I end. Should have known what I'm up against. 
Morning, Sarah. <laughs> I was gonna say, Het's visiting Ara live today. All right, gang, let's go over this accessory real quick. Cooking crazy, we will be looking forward to it. Okay, Kurt, no, I love that idea. I'll run it by Tasia and Jake and see what they say. Uh, he's from New England. Will is from New England also, Tasia. Oh. That's why he knows all about that wicked terminology. <laughs> Wagner, happy birthday to your mom today. That's so awesome that you're doing this with her for her birthday. Please tell her happy birthday from the M30 crew. We're so excited. That's such a special thing to be able to do that with your mom, especially on her birthday. Happy 58th birthday to Wagner's mom today. Hit, we love that you hopped in for fun. Please, come back for more. We have a lot of fun. All right, Andre in the house back there. Guys, look, it's like an apparition. Andre, say hi to the M30 world. Dre, uh, he's um, real happy in the morning. <laughs> okay, guys, so for our accessory today, we are going to have three rounds. Ten, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Hey, Tasia, you want to demo this uh, single arm dumbbell sauce press? No. <laughs> uh, ten single arm dumbbell sauce press. This might be one of the more difficult accessory moves out there. <laughs> ten, cat, cow and 20 Superman. So what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna have to get a really light dumbbell, so bear with me for one second. I mean, it's a great mobility tool, but not everyone has that mobility. So what I like to do is I like to get a plate out because I myself struggle with that too. So what's going to happen in the SOTS press, you're going to come down into that bottom of the squat and you're going to press that arm with that dumbbell. But see how my arm's coming forward? You don't want that. You want it straight up. But that's because my hip is all mobility. So if I get on this plate right here, have my, my heels are up on this plate. I can get in a better position in the bottom of that squat and I can push that arm straight up. So as opposed to me off the plate, going like this, because I want that dumbbell straight up. So I'm going to come into a squat position on that plate and press straight up. I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell if that's in any indication. So you want a really, really lightweight, or even a PVC pipe, because we're working on that. All of that mobility of those ankles, those hips, those shoulders. It's just a great mobility tool all around. So you'll have 10 of those on the right, 10 of those on the left. And Ellis, or we used to call them uh, San Antonio presses because the first time we looked at the board and saw SA press, we're like, San Antonio? <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> All right, guys, 10 cat cows. So you come into that tabletop position. And I'm gonna drop my belly to the floor. Nice flat back, look up, inhale, exhale, round that back like a Halloween cap, push those hips forward, inhale, exhale. So you'll have 10 of those, 10 cat cows, and then 20 supermans. Remember, it's going to be three rounds of that. Ten single arm dumbbell sots press. Ten on the right, ten on the left. Feel free to use a really, really light dumbbell or no weight at all. Even a PVC pipe, broomstick, and 
you can put those feet on that plate if that helps with the mobility. Then you'll have 10 cat cow, 20 supermans, and you will have three rounds of that. Yes, Koi, I have an awkward Zotz press. Yes, my name is Ellie and I have an awkward Zotz press. <laughs> it's due to my ankle mobility. And apparently my torso rotation as I learned in M30 doing our torso twists. <laughs> I mean, I try. So, as we all know, I need the accountability to do this accessory afterwards as well. <laughs> Philip, on Thursdays, I haven't heard yet, but I think we'll probably have both, which would be awesome. Just give, up, give us everyone more options. M30, we like more options. <laughs> well, well, yes. Well, not everyone, but most people. Some people have that really solid bottom position in their squat, but I'd say 99% of people look awkward doing sauce press. <laughs> San Antonio sauce presses, especially Ellis. I think so. Dre, they want to know if there's any sneak peeks of merch. Uh, not for the M30 group, I don't Ah! He's being a butt. Typical Dre at what, 7, 8, 24 in the morning. He's just teasing, I'm just teasing. Oh, thanks. Awesome, Michelle, let us know how it goes. Well guys, great work this morning. Let me know how that accessory goes and how the workout goes if you end up doing it. Thank you guys so much for joining today. Oh, cool, you guys make my morning. <laughs> it's our new talk show. You guys make it a talk show, that is for sure. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Happy birthday again. Wagner to your mom on her 50th birthday. Pet, thanks for stopping by. Kim, Philip, Ellis, Coy. All my favorites. Willie, Carson B, Cooking Crazy, thank you for the awesome recipe. Sarah, thanks for coming. Birdie, thanks for doing the workout with me today. Raul. All right, gang, I hope you guys have an awesome day and hopefully we see you at 7.30 Central tomorrow. Have an awesome day.